Right. In our Christmas promises that we're looking at, all these promises of Christmas throughout the whole Bible. And now, today, we're getting really close. Tonight, there is this moment, Christmas Eve, where Jesus was born. And what we're going to look at next is this promise of Christmas given to the shepherds. So I'm going to read just from uh, Luke chapter 2. And we're just going to be looking at from verse 8 onwards. So verse Actually, verse seven, actually, uh, just to capture a bit of uh, Mary and Joseph. So here we go. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born. And she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger because there was no guest room available for them. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today, in the town of David, a saviour has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth peace to those on whom his favour rests. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the manger. Now, of course, these shepherds, these we we don't know a lot about them, but we love their story. And one of the best things about these shepherds, of course, we looked at the Magi and how the wisest, the best of all the nations had to search for this Jesus. And they only got this one star, but this one star and they followed it across the globe. These shepherds weren't even looking initially on a hillside, staying with their sheep, but they got a whole host of angels, brilliant light all around them, and singing. These shepherds got a far bigger introduction than the best of all the nations, all these magi. But that's partly because if we just look at the story of Christmas, Jesus was born to Mary and Joseph, and we know they were poor, and born in Bethlehem, which we know was small. So this whole Christmas story is all about he's not what you think. You what All that we think is good or amazing or all the things we respect or find awesome, all the things we think are worthwhile, the Lord's saying, no, they're not. Those things aren't. This guy is. So he deliberately has this invitation go out to the lowliest, the poor Mary and Joseph, small Bethlehem, or these shepherds having to stay out in their fields with the dirty, stinky sheep. They're having to stay out there, but they get one of the best invitations to Christmas, probably ever. And of course, one of the other great things about these shepherds that I love is that these animals were also there at this nativity story. We looked at Job 39.9, how God promises the ox knows about the Lord's manger. And of course, these shepherds as well, they're part of that. They come and see this Jesus surrounded by animals. And those are the people who love Jesus. Those were the people who were at his birth. And those were the people the Lord was pleased to have around him. These shepherds are so fantastic. And of course, the last thing as well, is of course. Why is it so important shepherds were there at Jesus' birth? We already looked at how Jesus is going to be called this great shepherd. Notice how these shepherds were, they were willing to stay out in the fields, be homeless in order to look after their sheep. And in some way, that's part of this promise of Jesus. Jesus, who is this great shepherd, is so going to love us 
that is willing to stay out with us in the nighttime, when it's scariest, when we're at our most messed up. That's when this great shepherd hung out with us. He slept and made sure we were safe. That's this great shepherd. He's willing to look after us in the worst times. He's not afraid and he loves us as well. That's the other thing. Clearly, these shepherds love their sheep. In fact, there's a whole Bible passage about it, how shepherds love to look after their sheep, no matter how stupid they, the sheep are. But that's also this Jesus. He loves to be with us, among us here on earth. He loves Christmas and he wanted these shepherds to be some of the first invited on this Christmas Eve. So let's join in with these shepherds celebrating and perhaps even singing as they did, singing carols about this great Christmas night. <laughs> 